Hey guys, it's Takuma here, and I'm back after a long break, bringing you a, something a little different this time, and bringing you Killzone 3 multiplayer. Sony recently announced this game to be going free to play on the multiplayer, and I thought I'd give it a shot, because I don't think this is something we've ever seen on the PS3 before. And the first thing you'll notice is color filters. My word, are there some color filters in this game. This map actually has the least strong color filters I've ever seen in this game. This is, I think, my... Th yes, this is my third ever game of Killzone 3 on here. I played the single-player demo, but to be honest, without having even touched the single-player demo, you'd be quite confused as to the map design. They really are very alien environments. It's n this multiplayer free-to-play does not give you any indication that this is, in fact, on most part, at least, an alien planets. Um, anyway, we're opening up here with a rather nice kill streak, I think. A uh, couple of kills already. Flames, Tactician, and SMG. And there we go again. Nice streak of three. 150. That's probably about as good as it gets, unfortunately. This is a beginner's luck opening game. But yeah, this game seems to have two things running throughout the whole game. And the two things I think I see all the time in this game are strong color filters and a lot of film grain. There's also a lot of sort of horizontal lines cutting across things. You may have seen that on the main menu. I wouldn't normally include that, but I just thought that this game has such an interesting menu soundtrack, I really should give it a little bit of a show screen. Anyway, um, deciding to change my class up here because I, I, as I, I, I'd only ever really tried the tactician class and I wanted to try some other weapons, so... Thought I'd give Marksman a try. A bit skeptical as to how I'd do, but it turns out a little better than I expected. Um, and yeah, this is this is it's really good. I am quite surprised as to the quality of how well Sony's managed to try and pull off a free-to-play game. I haven't really quite hit the mark, unlike me, who just hits a headshot right there, and then meets his doom from behind yet again. Uh, as I said, um, Sony never having, I don't think Sony or Sony Systems have ever really attempted free-to-play gaming before, but this is its first foray into it. So I decided to give it a go after I heard it was announced. Um, just today I've actually, I'm recording this commentary right after playing the game. Uh, so this is record, this voiceover is recorded right after having played the video that you're seeing. And I'm a little confused as to what's going on. It doesn't really give you much indication as to what you're supposed to do. So I'm just playing the sort of team deathmatch mode. And yeah, run right up behind this guy. I thought I'd missed a lot, but apparently those three shots that I think did hit were enough to pull him in. So it's quite powerful. Sony has tried here to do a free-to-play game, but I don't think they've pulled it off hugely well. This game really does smell of free-to-play, pay-to-win. I don't think it is, but it does smell of it. I am... They've done a sort of World of Warcraft fleet free-to-play here. You, it's free-to-play up to a point, and once you make enough... Once you've made enough progress in the game, then it'll stunt your progress and say, okay, to make any more progress on this game, you're going to have to give us the... You're going to have to buy it. Anyway, yeah, here I go, running down some alleyway. I have no idea what this map's called, or what any of them are called, I don't think it even tells you. So I'm playing quite blindly right now. Oh, and my guy goes down, and I... There's knives, so I couldn't do much in terms of reviving. Knifing in this game is rather graphic, and there you go, pulled down by a knot from behind. So I'm 8 and 5 right now, it's probably about as good as my scores get. Remember, of course, that this is my third ever game on my first ever day. I played two games, switched to the DVR, and started recording, and this is what came out straight after. I was hoping to play and upload the first game I got, and luckily I got a decent game. I mean, you'll see some speed up in a minute because I started losing my way, but overall this has been a pretty good game. And there you go, fall over backwards crawling around and respawn. So yeah, I'm Hellgast and I am running around with a gun and I'm going to go shoot people already. 
I'm not too sure what I can, more I can say on this game, other than what it, what I, what, how it's, that it sounds good. It looks interesting, but very confusing, and this free-to-play multiplayer does give you very little information as to what on earth is going on, or what on earth is going on. Luckily, it does at least tell you that nice quick revives. That's that. It does tell you how to do those. Luckily, it does at least try and indicate how to be helpful. But the game itself isn't hugely helpful. But obviously, third the other game, not much to say about how you should play or what to play. All I can really say on it is really that you should pick it up, try it, see if you like it, and go from there. I, now. The, get, the range of gaming in this, um, in here, the range of shooting is quite small, and therefore most of the guns are quite a short range. Anyway, here I go, running off on my own, and I think I'm gonna get rewarded. I get one, I don't get rewarded, and I pay the price. So, here comes the speaker. There just so you didn't have to sit through all my failures. As you can see, I picked up this faster aim ribbon. It seems if you do well enough during a game, it gives you a little bit of a temporary assistance, and yeah, I get stabbed in the throat. But here we go, back in the groove. Or not. Freaky guy on the radio thing. Not quite sure what his problem is. And apparently that's mission one. So yeah, we win, and I thought, even though the end of the game didn't look go so well, I'd show you all the lovely points and rewards. Uh, sorry if I'm yawning a bit, it's Saturday evening and I've had a tiring week. Still with that as to why I haven't been posting many commentaries, so yeah. Lots of points, rank up, level 3 of 45. I had nearly level 4 and a bunch of bonuses and rewards, and that was, that's a game, and that's a wrap. See you next time.